2022. And I said, oh, my colleagues, talking on television. Nobody saying anything good. Yeah, I want to 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 I I to I want to I want to I want to a corporate world where you are into business and at international level, we're always analyzing, we're always looking at what we call crystal ball of economics and say, why is this defining all solutions? And that gives us restlessness. And that was what I saw again today. And one of them, when he was talking, he happened to be a very senior economist and uh, even a professor. And he said, there's hope, but the way things are still are, it will take time before you really have a solution to this crisis. So, I want to praise God that God brought you and me to a place like this. You know, a lot of people go to churches and they put in their hearts, their everything, hoping that they will get the results. But what I have been saying is disappointing. You listen to them, I mean, because I'm a generous person, when I see you in trouble, I want to help. So I help them. There are so many. And they go to church, they do all of what they are doing. But when you see them almost dying, what do you do? You just have to see how to help. And so I, I go ahead and keep, and I will keep helping people as much as I can. Matthew 17. 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 Mat
depends on how you handle it. There are people who handle it anyhow. Like Judas. Like the loser. But thank God for this one. Because God sees their heart. Now, see what follows. I was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun. And his raven was white as the light. It's not like God was doing this without their knowledge. God made them to know. They know it. When God gave me the vision to raise this ministry, I was scared to me. And I set it up as God said. That's why you see the presence of God. But if you come here, you are not you get to God. You can't see God's glory. You will remain the same. And I don't want that for you. Now, in verse 3, and behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. God wanted to pay them something. Because they know that all they have been doing in the it's all about what Moses taught them. And all the prophetic they are talking about, they were making reference to Elijah. So Jesus allowed God to bring them. Why? Because he wanted to tell them that, see, all this Elijah's story, this Moses story, God and God. You know, everybody is used to that. And it takes revelation to be able to pull them out of these mosaic laws. And if you come to our church here, you don't surrender all. You can't receive something. You will still be like the people of the world. Now, look at verse 5 now. Verse 4, rather. They answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou will, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias. Servants of God. What do you know? He became Moses, Elias, or Elijah. They are at the same level with Jesus. You know, sometimes when I hear something from some people, if you see where if you think we think with that or all, and we say Jesus did. Why, why won't God answer the prayer? Some will say, hey, if I say this person died in Jesus' name, what bad about You know, they are just like to mix what we don't give them solution with what we give them solution. That's what Peter and the rest were doing here. And as you are making that mistake, verse 5, why yet he speak? Behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud, you said, This is my beloved son, in whom I will please. Now, if anything they were making that arrangement, you say, Let's build a town, a day, a, a, a room, a, a thing. And immediately Moses and Elijah disappear. And Jesus remains. And then Moses said, This is my beloved son here. That's a smart way of God telling them, as you live here, the only person you call 
is Jesus. Only Jesus. Jesus. Will so, so, as you come here to this ministry, I beg you, there is no other name we are calling here. It's Jesus. You don't join it with water. You don't join it with oil. You don't join it with first offering, second offering, first seed, second seed. We don't do all of that. And for the past six years, God has been answering us. But this coming, you in giving offering, cheerful offering to God. You can even give more than hundred percent. That is from your heart. That's why before we go, before we enter into 2023 now, I'm bringing the message to you now. The true divine solution to human problems. The true divine solution. No matter what problem you brought in here, God has been solving all that problem. When I look back now, and I look at the church, and I look at the church, I see that God is answering prayers. It's not, it's not like preparing you and saying, you must be for me. But I'm telling you because I'm persuaded that God, who raised me up to start this ministry, is backing it up. Number one, let me talk about people's problems. In Job chapter 14, verse 1, Job chapter 14, Verse 1. Hear what he said. Man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. It's what you can say yourself. Especially in 2022. Before 2022, many of us here, we know the crisis we found ourselves. We know the problem in our marriages. We know the problem of children. We know the problem in the society. So man is full of trouble, no doubt about it. That's why somebody like Moses, somebody like Elijah and Elijah, who are raised up, hoping that they will be able to tell the world on how to get out of the problem. They tried their best. But their best was not enough. Why? Man has sin and come short of God's glory. You must understand this. You know, the people who are deceiving people with oil, with water, they must understand that man has sin and come short of the glory of God. Nobody is telling you that we have seen and come short of the glory of God. He's not telling you the truth. In Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For I have seen and come short of the glory of God. So, the sin that we have committed through Adam and Eve is what is still having effect on humanity. And that's why Satan has the opportunity to do all the evil he's doing in our life. That's why Job said, having looked at everything, that every person born of a woman is of a few days, but born into trouble. 
even when Jesus came, the problem was still there. Because at that time, the solution Moses gave them could not solve the problem. Look at this case in the book of Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. I read verse 25 to verse 26. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and has suffered many things of many physicians and has spent all that she had and was not in better but rather grew worse. And Jesus came. And blood, issue of blood. For years. She has spent a lot of money. We go to Pharisees, we go to physicians, we go to. They will use water, they will use oil. Still, the problem was there. Is it not what we are saying today? You know, when you look at what these churches are doing, you will think that there should be solution instantly. Sabbath, the calling of assembly, 
and cannot. It will wait. It is iniquity. Even the solemn meeting, your new moves and your appointed feast, my soul hated. They are a trouble unto me. I'm willing to bear them. Verse 15. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. All these sacrifices you are praying. I hate them. Oh no, 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 listen. Don't tell me what I'm going to do for you. What's going to happen? Because your hand is full of blood. So you are still living in sin. I see you living in sin. All your assembly, all your moon service uh, programs you are praying. I don't want them anymore. Are they just for him? What should you do? I tell you that's the only complaint. Remember that it was God that introduced it through Moses. I'm not thinking about all of one hour of it. If I say Moses. But they were not using it to help people. They say that if you abuse your mother, when God says you don't abuse your mother, they say if you abuse your mother, as long as you bring gifts, it doesn't matter. God raised Sabbath day for them to help one another to rest. When they see sick people, they won't heal, they won't do anything. They say Sabbath day and the person will die. There. Intruding into those things which he had not seen, vainly puffed up 
over his fleshly mind. Warning the believers in Colossae. Don't let these Pharisees come and deceive you in voluntary worship of angels. Like what you see in the white garment church or some CEC churches. And there are many other churches. You see them doing like acrobats, jumping or all kinds of, you know, many things that are not in the teaching of Christ. So Paul was warning them. Some 
who thought that it's over for them? Why? Because people have abandoned them. Do you know that God turned them around in this place? That today, you can boast that this is what God is doing for you. I haven't seen anybody. In fact, the only problem I have in this ministry now is when God has prospered you, how you will continue to serve God. That's the only problem. Because that's the problem we have. That's why I want to encourage you. Jesus is the solution to every problem. That's why when he had that point, all of them, they bowed. They, they told this is the way to go now. Do you even know that those who came to Jesus, just like what we are going through here. He looked at the 10 verse 17. You know, because they have been suffering for years. But when he came to Jesus, we, we all came to Jesus. Here. Look at verse 17. And the 17 returned again with John, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Can you hear that? You who have been suffering for years. But when they met Jesus, Jesus saw their problems. And they gave them power. And they came back and said, Jesus, we have never seen it this way before. Did you overcome it? 
whether we feed it or we don't feed it. So, if you are a part of us, so we know that the care of God, the support of God, is real here. Whatever body you carry down here, we, we remove it. And then, we don't add body on your head again. You don't ask you to bring money. You don't say you have to bring this. God says, no. All those are body that these liars have put on your head. As I close now, I say I'm fine because we are about getting to 12 right now. And this will be interesting. I say 55 as one. Yes, I only come to your what I say. Go, everyone that tested, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread? And your labor for that which is which satisfy not? I keep telling you, please. I keep telling them unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. As you have found yourself here, maybe this is the first time you are here. I want to encourage you to come. Don't waste your money. Listen, if you are spending this money to profit, spending this money on the mountain, bringing tithes.
Monday by this point, I can't see you again. Yeah, you can now say that to lead you like that. It works yourself. If they correct me in this ministry, is it for their own advantage? Are they looking for money for me? Do they want to commit to morality with me? I mean, you can't say that. Because as you come to Christ, your body, your problem, everything disappears. So I want you to drop your baggage door. Eh, I won't do this again. Eh, I won't drop it now before it's about two minutes to enter. This is what probably offends me by dropping that right now. Because you are starting a new life in 2023. What you have been doing, you are dropping in 2022, we'll get back to it in 2023. Because you have seen clearly that God is in this place. So I give you a chance to drop all your misgivings right now.
trust that you will hear. We trust that you will answer. We trust you will see the manifestation. Lord, we ask now from this hour as you normally do let answer to prayer be manifested in the name of Jesus. We have done it over and over. Time from time to time. That's why we are not so proud. I pray these people, these are who are praying with confidence in you. Lord, they will never be disappointed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, they have always been there for all. You have been supporting. I pray, Lord, for those who are unable to be here now, and they are praying with us wherever they are, even on their sick bed, I pray as you are reading signs and wonders right now here. Do the same for them there in the mighty name of Jesus. And all that we have made up our mind to do this 2023, serving you and then taking new stand, doing great things in business, doing great things in the family. Oh Lord, I pray it will start right from this hour in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we know you are answered. Because this is the beginning of beginning for us. We will see great things this year. We will give more testimony than we ever gave in 2022. We bless your holy name. Thank you for answered prayer. In Jesus' mighty and glorious name we pray.